We present our work Power Line Tracking with Event Cameras. Power Line Inspection is a high risk, time consuming and expensive operation. Specialized human operators typically use ropes or scaffoldings to access the power line infrastructure and helicopters for long range inspection. Autonomous inspection using quadrotors is an effective and efficient solution. It can drastically reduce inspection cost and time and increase quality. In this work, we propose a method that uses event cameras to robustly track power lines. Event cameras are robust to motion blur, have low latency and high dynamic range. Such properties are advantageous for autonomous inspection of power lines with drones, where fast motions and challenging illumination conditions are ordinary. Related work in line tracking using event cameras can be split in three different categories. The first category is off transform based approaches. These approaches don't fully leverage the asynchronous nature of event cameras. Searching through the parameter space on an event by event basis is computationally costly. A possible solution is to use a sliding window of events. This helps in reducing the computational cost, but introduce latency. In the non-parametric based approach, like Ellie said, a line detector calculates the spatial derivatives of every pixel and clusters the pixels into support regions based on their orientations. Such regions are used to calculate the line segments. This method has the tendency to produce small line segments that are short-lived. This is not ideal for power line tracking. We are inspired by spatiotemporal based methods. These methods make the assumption that lines travel approximately at a fixed speed in small time intervals. When such assumption holds, as for power line inspection tasks, lines describe a plane in the spatiotemporal event space. We propose to use hibernation to improve the persistency of the line tracker in comparison with state-of-the-art spatiotemporal based method. We show a flowchart of our algorithm on this slide. Our algorithm works on event by event base. When a new event is triggered by the camera, we first check if it can be added to a line. If not, we check if it can be added to a cluster. A cluster is basically a set of events that are not yet lines, but could be lines in the future. If this is not the case, then we check if a new cluster can be created or the event is left unassigned. The main contribution of this work is to add hibernation to the line tracker. Hibernation is introduced to make the line tracker robust against lines that slowly change directions. In the case of power line tracking aboard a quadrotor, this happens during slow direction changes of the robot. Lines are hibernated when the event density is lower than a given threshold. Hibernated lines are kept in memory, but their positions are not updated until new events are added. This improves the, the persistency of the line tracker. Please check out our paper for more details. This video shows a comparison of our method to a state-of-the-art spatiotemporal based approach. From the ID of the line tracker, we can see that our method is more persistent than the state-of-the-art. This is very beneficial for power line tracking. Here, standard images are only used for visualization. The algorithm only uses events to detect and track the lines. Our line tracker is efficient enough to run on board resource constrained platform like quadrotors. In this experiment, we show our line tracker that is used in a closed loop control scheme where the quadrotor is asked to follow a reference line on the wooden square. The computational cost of the algorithm scales linearly with the number of lines and clusters.
to summarize, we propose a spatiotemporal event-based line tracker optimized for power line inspection. We introduce hibernation to improve the persistency of the line tracker. Our method is able to track lines up to 10 times longer than the state of the art. The algorithm is efficient and can run real-time on board a lightweight resource-constrained quadrotor platform. We release the code fully open source.